Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2023 Nutrient Egg Solutions Western Showdown, the largest international curling event in Canada this season. We're so glad you decided to join us to watch some of the top teams from around the world participate in this event. My name is Jesse Hamannick, and I'm the Vice President and Country Head of Nutrient Egg Solutions Canada. Like farming, curling brings our communities together and Nutrient Ag Solutions is committed to promoting the diversity of sport within the communities where we work and live. We're so grateful to the Western Showdown team for allowing us to partner with them to bring you this event. And I wanna wish you all the teams a safe and successful event. Hello everyone and welcome to the 2023 Nutrient Ag Solutions Western Curling Showdown. We're so glad you've decided to join us to come see some of the world's best curlers participate in this event. My name is Jim Grundy. I'm the branch director for RBC Dominion Securities here in Swift Current. Our branch is not only a huge fan in support of curling in our community, we're also proud to support the 2023 Nutrient Ag Solutions Western Curling Showdown, as RBC is committed to working with our community to promote and celebrate vibrancy in sport in the community in which we live. Thank you to everyone on the organizing committee for putting this great event together. And on behalf of RBC Dominion Securities, enjoy the tournament. Saskatchewan, you know Sastel because we are everywhere. Because being everywhere keeps us connected to you. With Sastel sponsorships, we get to be part of your community. We're here with you and we're here for you. It's easy to get started. All you need to do is apply. Sastel cares, always has, always will. To apply for sponsorship, visit sastel.com slash sponsorships. Good morning, curlers, and welcome to the Swift Current Curling Club in Saskatchewan, where we are here for the quarterfinals of the Western Challenge, brought to you by Nutrient Ag Solutions. Here we are in this quarterfinal matchup. We have Silvana Terenzoni versus Isabella Rana. And we're here with you on Curling Zone, and we are picking up action in the second end. Good morning to everyone out there, and we look forward to seeing you on the chat. I'm Dave Schmel. I'm joined here today by Marty Thompson. Good morning, Marty. Morning, Dave. Really excited for this game. It should be a good one. Absolutely. Two top teams in this field. And as you already mentioned, already off to a pretty decent start. Lots of rocks in play. So here in the second end, we do have Rana had, having taken the first point. So it is here in Zoni with Hammer here, trailing by one nothing. Looks to be a whole bevy of redstones in the house, soon to be added to. And looks like after this hit, it'll be here in Zoni sitting five. Yeah, you can see Tiranzoni can see a good chunk of this rock and obviously not familiar or not uh, uh, very familiar with this shot. Um, it looks like a couple of rocks have already sort of come down this line. So this will be Tiranzoni's last before Skip Stone. So yeah, as you mentioned, really good chance to set this up and honestly put a lot of pressure considering it's this early in the game. So throwing a nice easy weight at this one. Very manageable by the brushers. Now trying to hold on to it for line. That hit's gonna be made, gonna roll slightly off to the outside and they will sit a mid full right now, going into skip rocks. It's a pretty good line call there. As mentioned, you know, they definitely saw some rocks down here because it looked like it was maybe hanging for a little bit. Really good patient line call there. And yeah, I mean, you see, you see what Rana can see there. Just looking back down the ice, it's uh, it's not necessarily too pretty right now. But that being said, you know, if you are able to kind of wrap one around here, you could 
put Alina Petz and Co. in a bit of a difficult situation. So you just take a little bit more, more line. Tolerance would be almost to be on the outside of that rock. You know, you, you almost want to be showing a, a quarter rather than rubbing off because um, that would give Pets a chance to, you know, make a hit and stick and then really control the front of the forefoot. So just try to wrap one around, see if you can uh, get out of this end unscathed somehow. So here's Pets with her first in the second. Right. So you're trying to hold it tight. Down. Yes. Going to come right down and almost to the shot stone. So they do lie second. But is that good enough? Yeah, that might have likely been the call the whole time. And my apologies for that. But I just saw the line that they were giving. It's really not curling as much as, as you'd anticipate. I think that broom was like three quarters of the eight foot. So... Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not the worst situation, but now if you're the Swiss team here, there's a little bit to consider, you know, how, how aggressive do you want to be here? If you can be aggressive at all, because it's hard not to count out these, these red counters on the outside of the rings. Potentially looking at that angle there, but if you just want to wrap one around, as mentioned, these teams meeting in the quarterfinal. Ran up one nothing after taking the a one point in the. First end. It looks like the colors are inversed on our score bug here. I believe it's uh, Tiranzoni with with the red stones and sweet ah. and yellow. <laughs> that would change things a bit. <laughs> yeah, slightly so. I, I, be I believe it's inversed. Uh, um, just good. They always have uh, you know the, the Swiss team with the red stones, Swedish team with the yellow. Easy to remember that way. Looks like the come around here. So with that stone from Rana, you makes you definitely wonder how how many they may have bailed themselves out from right now. Can they uh, make all these count again? It wasn't no, nothing looked too appetizing, obviously for, for pets. So any sort of hit or anything, but see where this ends up. And then most importantly, what the Swedish team can do on their next. Hanging on them maybe a little bit. Yeah, this also looks like it might be a just a touch heavy. Yeah, you're right. Coming down, coming down nicely. Hmm, that may have left something appetizing though. Possibly well, just slightly deeper than what they called. It's hard to exactly know, but that I think that they're maybe calling for something that'd be a little bit higher. But yeah, you're right. Um, ran a. Well, there might be a wraparound available with them being offset now, a little bit easier to hide. I think that might be what they're calling. Yeah, same. They know the line, same thing, and just try to come right around and then make her, you know, if, if Pets has a, you know, best case scenario, Pets just has to sort of pick it out. And Even back button is really two. good here. Yeah. 
And I think they're 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 maybe keen on this draw on this side just because they saw it. They just threw that one. You know, or you throw, yeah, something like that. Slightly modified version of your first shot. Or the hit. That's uh that looks awfully adventurous. Audible. That looks awfully adventurous. <laughs> yeah. Uh I guess the only issue with that is the question is would that red rock that she, you know, just touched with her broom, would that ever kick up if she played enough weight to try to remove that all? Would it ever like move the yellow rock up? Probably not enough. Just wondering if it if it did ever kick it up like quite a bit. Like if she threw normal or something it, it's possible that yellow might actually sort of like slide up the rings and then maybe even bring that biter there at the or that the, the rock that's biting the the eight foot there at the bottom left corner actually into play i'm just speculating that would be uh, that would be an interesting turn but certainly the more aggressive shot no matter what And that really reflects the difference between your your highest level teams and your club level curlers. I think someone like myself and is just trying to find a way to survive this end. <laughs> yeah, this 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 end is almost more like a, is more like a club curling end specifically, just for the fact that they you know they're they're actively looking to bail out with a draw. You know, <laughs> yeah. uh, that's certainly a little different. Yeah, I mean maybe dissuaded by the hit. And you can see, maybe just see how little of that red rock you can actually see the one in the top four um, from this perspective on the left hand side. But yeah, I, it's the bailout is the draw, just like on you know Tuesday mixed. You know, it's uh, it's uh, if you sink one in there, make them do something. We'll see what happens. So it's a big stone early. Got to be good. Got to have full forefoot. Hang on it now. Hustling to get by. Are you going to get by those guards? And do you have enough weight? And it is neither column A nor column B. That's tough. It's the line was ultimately pretty good, but you saw they were sweeping for weight for a good distance down the ice. That's difficult because otherwise, you know, a few a few more feet, and that would have been at least a little bit more serviceable. Now, what is the Swiss team seeing other than a draw? Yeah, I see a draw for three. That's what I see, but. They're wondering if they're drawing on, on this side would be, be more advantageous. But yeah, all you need to do is just get into the the four foot paint. So you can see a chunk of it there from from down here in the hack, our version of the hack, anyways, on the left hand side. <laughs> Come in for a three spot, and this would be a great start to the game for Team Tiranzoni, who are four and zero in this competition thus far. And just coming off of winning the European Championship. So definitely the favorite in this field coming in. So here's the final stone for Switzerland. Elena Pets has it on the way. Needs to settle down. And settle down will it'll be a score three. And they will take the three one lead after two. We'll be back in a moment here on Curling Stadium.
Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Well... What do y'all think? Too blue? Not blue enough? Try this. Makes your eyes pop. This could be our best yield yet. And didn't we get this seed at a great financing rate? Yeah, we did. Iced tea? Great idea. Let's talk more about next year. I got some thoughts. And I've got some numbers. Nutrient Financial. Financing that's in the field with you. SASTEL Be Kind Online wants to stop cyberbullying. Want in on the action? We award up to $1,000 for youth initiatives that help spread kindness and prevent bullying. What great idea do you have to help stop bullying? SASTEL can help. Go to BeKindOnline.com and apply for a grant today. Together, we can make a difference. And we're back here in the third end, quarterfinals of the Nutrient Ag Solutions Western Challenge from Swift Current, Saskatchewan. Silvana Terenzoni team has taken a 3-1 lead. Isabella Rana has hammer here in the third. We're starting to play with a corner guard and center guard and now a draw to the forefoot. And here comes the answer from Rana, looking look to be a draw down to the forefoot for her squad. Rana in the Yellowstones, Terenzoni in the red. Yeah, good chance to maybe just try to put one in here. Corner frozen maybe is be a nice little spot. Make this end a little interesting through lead stones. Yeah, Terenzoni really converted on a uh, great opportunity and put that three up in the last 10 and let's see what type of answer Rana has. That's a solid rock from Linda Stoonland, just maybe a little deeper, but it does make the jam possible if you wanted to remove it. So to play something a little riskier here for Tiranzoni. Looks like they're thinking of either a draw behind or even a little tap on it. To be Carol Howard's second and final stone here in the third end. It's going to come down, down, and rub off of the of the Rana Rock, and they'll sit two split, double take out available for them if they like. It wasn't wasn't ideal for sure. Here's Maria Larson with her first. Coming down with an easy control-ish weight. On and off, generally a good sign on the line. 
They make the takeout and roll underneath their corner. That seemed to curl a considerable amount, but that's pretty good when you throw inside out to the wings like that and get a chance to read that ice. This early in the game is always helpful. I know so often we we fail to get a handle on that uh, early on in the game as skips. Just about sometimes just about seeing it once, you know, and yeah, and just remembering most importantly what you what you had on one side. Yeah, a bit of a discussion here about how the Swiss team should proceed. Rana certainly set himself set herself up well thus far anyway. Pressure's on Tiranzoni for sure. So in Marty's world, where does Marty think a perfect stone is? <laughs> I don't think anybody know. I don't think anybody wants to go to Marty's world. It's terrifying. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, if you're red, I mean that's the exact kind of expression I would just have to just about any idea here. It's difficult. I, I think what Nina was talking about was she was trying to draw around behind the yellow red or do something like that where you know there's a possibility that like a draw or something just to just to try to focus on putting something into the key it's it's a, it's difficult just because how obviously how easily that red rock could be removed I just want to I don't know. I think I think if you don't, if you just keep it simple, just put a rock up top. Putting it behind is kind of scary. You don't necessarily need to do that. Although the jam off the red would be nice. Maybe just draw around that red guard, somewhere between the yellow and the red, and then, you know, let Rana maybe have to get a little creative with the next shot, or or maybe try to get a half miss, and something that might be a little bit nicer because that that guard that they have, that low guard. It's tough. I mean, you can run that, but it's not necessarily helping you too much. And you can see just how well these these the corner guard in this rock off here on the the left hand side it looks like a power play in doubles. So it's just perfectly lined up. This red rock ends up a little carve at the end. Well, that might work for now. You can see just how it's frozen edge to edge, and yeah, as mentioned, that 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 red um, that red low guard. Are they doing team run any favors either? She'll just peel that away. Or a soft weight to touch that red at the back. That will just be that soft weight. Really smart shot just to keep that shooter in a really nice place to protect that uh, that yellow rock on the outside.
All right, next stone here, Tiranzoni. Big carve here. You can see just how powerful of a sweeper. I mean, powerful sweeper both of these front end players are, but you can just see how much he's going to move it over just at the end. Replace that guard that was there and just a little bit higher, make it a little bit more difficult. And now maybe something a little closer time. to nose. Yeah, looking for the run back now. And that goes back, and the result leaves with one Tiranzoni stone in the back of the forefoot. Now we're on a look into swing another one in from the upturn side. This will be Tier and Zoni's final stone here at the end. Yeah, good chance to sink one in here for sure. We're trying to walk this one over. It's a big carve, but it's, too much weight. Yeah, absolutely. I think that they were maybe seeing that it was holding out there a little bit, but then halfway down the sheet, they realized that maybe the weight was a little up. Definitely frustrating for Tiranzoni. I understand her feelings towards that. Because again, same thing, same thing in the, in, in the last end too. Line, line was ultimately pretty good. And yeah, just a little late to realize we could try to carve it to slow it down. And yeah, so now they're, now they're looking at taking on this uh, this short little this short little uh, hit here, realizing they can remove a lot of granite from their opponent. The way it's keyed up. Yeah. Stone away from Duval. This looks really close. Ooh, just past everything. And yeah, leaves it. Very again. close. Very close. Oh, yeah, Tiran's only with a chance to, with a pets first, to, yeah, just do exactly that. Just hit that yellow. And I think the key here would be to hit and then roll in behind all that cover because, you know, Rana was obviously in the right to try to throw that extra guard on that side, but now if you throw a rock in behind that set of staggered guards, you really shrink the scoring area, and you have two rocks, um, you know, in the in the key in the four foot and eight foot uncovered. So key shot for sure. So here's Pets with her with her first of two. Decent amount of weight here. You don't want to hit this too thin or you lose it. And that works for two. So 
Now it's Rana's turn to do exactly that. If you hit and just roll him behind, it's looking pretty good. Or if you try to do it that way too, where you hit and roll behind the red. Comes down to what you want to have on your last and what you want to make Alina Pets throw. Looks like we're going to kind of come after the one here on the uh, back of the forefoot. Once again, coming inside out. Got to see this line a little bit different, but we've went this way once already. And it's out there. It's going to carve over to get a piece, I think. But is the shooter going to hang around? And it will find its way just to spin back on the rings. I'd be interested to talk to the teams after this game specifically about how they're, how the ice is reacting. It's obviously hard to tell on stream. Um, but... You know, a couple, you know, the odd sort of like line misjudge, it looks like, you know, um, especially coming across center line there. Um, yeah, definitely some, definitely an adjustment period in this third end. I think they're maybe seeing a few things here and hopefully bring that into the second half of the game. Well, as a ice maker at my club myself, it's all part of the game. Absolutely, it is. It's all about trying to figure it out, right? It's just that's the key: is who can um, who can take in the information and and disseminate it properly. Not complaining about ice conditions, Dave. I never do that. Oh, I just want you I, to know. That. I certainly appreciate that, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> it's different to complain versus to you know properly analyze and try to understand. There's a final stone from, from Pets, and that looked like it might have grabbed something. They're looking back as we talk about ice conditions. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Who put that pick there? Was it the ice maker? I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah, that's boy. difficult. That is not the not anywhere close to the line, as you can tell. That's going to leave a free hit for three back here. Wow, they're going to trade threes if she can make this. That is a very frustrating end for for Team Tiranzoni, you obviously think about that that draw that went through the house, and now that obviously that pick, very difficult set of circumstances. But you know, you also just came off of getting a three, so the game is certainly not not over. It's certainly frustrating. You just got to park your feelings, and move on to the fourth. Absolutely, this is something I saw in interesting Facebook posts the other day saying that. Uh, curlers and especially skips need to have a goldfish memory they say goldfish only have a memory of three seconds that's going to come in handy for them now and this one needs to work over and it looks like it will without a problem watch the jam in the back not at all so we have one two and three stones for rana four to three Three after three. I've been farming on my own right for 40 years now, I think. It's a very uh, wholesome enterprise. You have very, very busy periods when you have to go hard. So many of our windows are so tight that uh, you, you just can't afford to miss a couple days of seating. When a producer places their trust in us, that when it's time 
for them to be able to make their living, we're gonna be there. That's a tremendous responsibility that is not a one day a year thing, right? In order to actually deliver on that, you have to build your processes and you have to build your team and you have to have a, a mindset of operational excellence because there's a lot of things that can go wrong and it's our job to make sure that they don't go wrong or if they do go wrong, that we can fix it before it affects our customers. So with the impact of my business and income, will this delay my retirement? I know you're worried, Marshall, but based on the original plan we came up with, you're only about six months behind. I thought it would be years, not months. You should feel good. Remember, you've got a plan. Thanks. With change comes questions. See the impact of your money decisions before you make them with RBC Wealth Plan. Light up your love for curling with our customizable neon LED lights from Letterlands. Choose your new Neon Mixed Doubles partner or make a statement with a Neon Curling Rock in your window. Also actual Letterlands. Use discount code WO for 15% off. Only at Letterlands.com. And we're back here in the fourth end of the Nutrient Ag Solutions Western Challenge quarterfinal match. Team Rana versus Team Tiranzoni. Rana with a 4-3 lead. Tiranzoni with the hammer. Playing in the fourth end here. Let's take a look around the rings. Marty, what do you got for us? Well, the winner of this game guaranteed to play uh, a team from Korea. You have Unji Kim and Unjung Kim playing uh, in the other quarterfinal of note. Uh, Unjung Kim with a four spot in the first end. Uh, but Kim's come back, took one in the second, and stole one in the third. So that's four to two, Kim with the hammer. So again, the winner will play them uh, later today at uh, 1230 p.m. Central Time, local time here. And then the other quarterfinals, we have Fujisawa up four to nothing on Corey Perlerman. Looks like took a three and then stole one in the second. So a pretty good start for them. And then we have an all-Canadian matchup as well. Joel Campbell against Kayla Skrillick. Uh, a blank in the first end. Uh, Skrillick now up two to one, playing the fourth. Joel Campbell, Jolene Campbell rather, with the hammer. And we're Is starting that synced off enough? Uh, absolutely. And we're st <laughs> That, that's perfect, Marty. And we're starting off with a good number of rocks in play here. We have double center cards frozen next to each other about halfway. And Rana now trying to draw into the forefoot here with the first from Maria Larson. And that's going to come right to the back of the T line. Now, having been through five rocks, Terenzoni is going to get right to cleaning these up. Yeah, no hesitation just to try to get these awkward yellow stones moving. Definitely is an awkward position, especially if you were going to attempt to play with them early in the end uh, with the no tick rule with them being side frozen like that. couple ways you can miss this shot for sure. You don't want to be outside of it. But with enough weight, that should be enough to kick it down. It is. That looked like a pretty good way to make this shot. Yeah, yeah, it worked out all right. I thought Canadians were never supposed to be negative, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> you, only you leave, negative. Oh, you leave I was just going to say only negative here. to ourselves, but. Oh, yeah, Sorry, what did you say? You leave that to us down here in the States. <laughs> enough negativity to go around, eh? Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so now with those guards down, it looks like putting another one up is going to be the prescription here. It's 
good spot. So Tiranzoni, uh, given the opportunity of the, little, of the little run back here, short run or split them on and ignore the one in this in in the forefoot. Well, you're being inclination. Yeah, inclination. Be I need some of that coffee. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's it's a second stone. So yeah, I like this call just to set it. Try to see if you can get them both. A couple ways you could. A couple sort of ways you can make this shot too. I like this because yeah, obviously we're 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 not even in device stones yet, so it's worth the risk. Now you don't want to miss it this way though. Oh, very close to uh, to to disaster there. But you know, even even with that, with that amount of weight, it's still a still a pretty good result. Should note just because it's not on the scoreboard, but but Tiernzoni does have the hammer here. And very interesting, we're seeing the different amounts of amounts of ice that we're using for different shots here. Now they're going to try to remove that corner and roll to a center of their own. Got the peel though, and it looks like we're on our way to a blank end. Yeah, pretty quickly. As you mentioned there, Tiranzoni reigning European champions. 4-0 through this event thus far. And Swift Current. There's a Ballerana with three wins and one loss. Heading into the, the proper knockout stages. Big carve here. And that is going to get someone under yeah, cover. Yeah, it's going to get half buried there. Uh, so it's still very gettable. That was a great sweep from Howard. So here we had Duvall with her with her delivery and her second of two. Going to have to carve that over a good bit. It's hanging up just a touch. And it is going to just get her on by. Yeah, same thing with the with the line. There's just the odd, you know, it's, it's obviously rare to see teams at this level, you know, miss shots like that. Um, and I know that was out to the wings, of course, and going inside out. But, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Still some calibrating for sure. Now, if you're so, Tiranzoni here, I guess you just try to hit and kind of roll a little bit over. Yeah, it looks like they're going to for uh, the old big split of the rings here. Leaving Rana nowhere to run or hide. The skip with her second shot. This one tracking a little bit to the inside, so it's going to make the hit not too much of a roll. That's a good shot. Absolutely. Yeah, I like that call that Ron is gesturing to just you know, that's going to be your chance to get two is if you just manage to sync this one perfectly and then almost force, you know, 
or sorry, rather, my apologies, to keep them, um, to keep them limited. But yeah, like if you're able to kind of draw right in there, the obviously the alternative would be to try to do that double. But that's a that's a pretty tall ask, and yeah, it, and it definitely is uh, fraught with peril. Because you just missed one on that line. You had to have that in the back of your head when you're putting the broom down. This is a much more conservative shot. Going to try to work the shooter over to group the stones a little bit. Gets a little bit of a roll. Probably would have liked a, a skosh more. And then a pretty standard hit here. Pet's just making sure that the ice is, is cleared up. A little conscious after that picked stone. In yeah, the that second, would, rightfully. That would, yeah, that would give round. you the the heebie-jeebies a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. We've all been there. Definitely not trying to kill this stone. Most important thing is just to keep that shooter in a decent spot. Just off nose. And a, and a nice little roll there. Oh, yeah. Great big roll. And a... So they're going to hit and roll, try to roll shot even wider and try to elicit a roll out to uh, get a force that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good call. Final stone on the way for Rana. That's going to nose it, hit and stick. So it's going to be hit and stick back for a deuce for, for Team Tiranzoni and Elena Pets. Maybe not as precise as Team Rana wanted, but yeah, definitely a difficult end from them as well. Lots of, um, lots of big misses in this game. Obviously, look at the scoreboard and you see two, three spots. That's so uh, pretty easy to decipher that, but um, Definitely makes it a little interesting as we see <laughs> Pets just taking a two or three hairs off the bottom of the rock. <laughs> Again, very careful not to have a pick here um, on her final stone as she did last end. Well, as a member of the Hat Club for Men, I am uh, decidedly not aware of how that problem is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, same here. Same here. All right, and this is on its way. It looks pretty, pretty good, and that'll be a score or two for Team Tiranzoni, and they'll take a 5-3 to three lead after four. We'll be back with the fifth end of action from Swift Current right after this.
I've got the bill. Oh, well, now, I've got the tip. Standard tip increased 2% this year. <laughs> That's why I keep you around. So, corn's looking great. Well, our crop plan is working. Mm, and we locked in that input financing at the perfect time. Mm -hmm. Well, what do y'all think? Too blue? Not blue enough? Try this. Makes your eyes pop. This could be our best yield yet. And didn't we get this seed at a great financing rate? Yeah, we did. Ice tea? Great idea. Let's talk more about next year. I got some thoughts. And I've got some numbers. Nutrient Financial, financing that's in the field with you. So here we are back in the fifth end to play. From Swift Current, the Western Challenge brought to you by Nutrient Ag Solutions. It was a score of two for Tier and Zoning the last end. Rana has the hammer. And we have a pretty open end to start things up. Just a single center guard for Tiranzoni. And we're on him with the takeout. And looks like we're going to respond back and trade some hits here. Really nice hit out to the winds there for Linda and Lund. Now, interesting here, you see Terenzoni calling that inside out, potentially trying to get a handle on it because uh, they've had some trouble throwing these. Yeah, and maybe her tolerance was to keep Pets on that rock pretty tight there, as you could see. But yeah, that's likely the, the idea is just to sort of get an idea. Um, good observation there. Ron will have to come the other way to try to get a rock buried. They have the hammer, as you can see. Well done by our crack production squad. <laughs> Should come back, should 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 come back pretty nicely, and it does. This is good. Uh, control the roll, squeaks out probably just a, a a bit more than they would have liked. But now they have a chance to return the favor. So That's here's really Selena Stone coming here. down. Yeah. Yep. I'm really holding the rock almost a little too much, as you can see. And now it comes over. Good finish. And that is going to be pretty well buried. A sliver of it's available, but uh, looks like they're going to take the full cleanup on and try to move the hammer into the sixth. So Maria Larson on the double peel attempt, just passed it. Just didn't curl up, I think, the amount that Rana was expecting. Uh, it did, you could see it did move slightly. Again, it's always hard to tell on stream, but it did move. But, yeah, not, not as much. That is right on the center, though. So, yeah, it, it didn't curl up exactly as to plan, and you could tell it was pretty close, but... Kieran's only with another chance to put that back and maybe put it just a little bit higher, eh? Yeah, that would be good. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if that now uh, corner guard comes into play later in the end. It does cover that uh, draw path on the intern side.
Taryn Sonny with her first. This has got a ways to go. Good finish now. Got to walk it all the way over. Probably a little bit tighter than we would have. It's tight. Now, is that too tight, Marty? Yeah, it's definitely going to make it difficult. Um, yeah, maybe just again another, another struggle with just that exact sort of precise, you know, guard shot. Now, will this curl up even just a little bit? And it really kind of yeah. won't. It just yeah, that, it kind of stayed straight, eh? Yeah, that stayed low the whole time. And uh, that's all you guys out there in curling land who are play lead in second. It shows you how vital your your guards are in placing them in a perfect position. Uh, throwing, a, throwing that perfect two guard is every bit as tough as putting one on the lid. No, no, no front end slander on this stream. Absolutely not. It's, uh, it's extremely difficult. And there's a reason why, you know, when you start playing with, you know, new curlers and, and people that are getting inter introduced to the game, they really struggle with that. And it, is, it really is one of the more difficult things to grasp in the sport. And there's, as you mentioned, there's a reason why it makes it extremely important, um, especially in instances like this. It should be just like a few feet higher, which is better. Yeah, certainly better. So we're going to take another shot, another crack at this. Maybe trying to line it up just a little bit better. It looks like there is uh, taking ice pretty much exactly where they want to hit it now. Looks like that got set out just a hair. Coming up is going to be really close on the one and past the second, and that is nicely made. Good judge there. Obviously, the Rana could had an idea pretty early on, but yeah, curled up really nice. Excellent execution heading into the skip stones. And it's funny we mentioned you know the difficulty in in throwing those one and two guards. Uh, doing a stream yesterday, saw two hogged rocks uh, in at this level, and you know what? Like as much as that, someone would sort of sit there and say, "Oh, you know," and and sort of scoff on it, scoff, uh, scoff on it. it. It really is like you know, it is, is a difficult thing to do in the sport. I think people don't necessarily appreciate it as much, especially one that you know, as it does change the line, right? It's 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 also hard for this the skip to call that, and you need to have a, a little bit extra communication with the front end to you know be able to make those rocks work so um yes and then you know it's tough to sometimes sell somebody especially somebody who might be throwing back in that yes i really want you to throw one just two feet over the hog line <laughs> yeah yeah you're like no chance no chance i will I say though for oh go ahead sorry i found myself using some uh, subtle you know, like some subtle, like, uh, mind games. I'll walk further up on the sheet and lay my broom in the guard zone to try to, uh, put it in their head. Please don't throw it into the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's some club skipping. I've never heard it for sure. And it works. It so works. What, what, what can you say? You know, it's you only say? crazy if it works, if it doesn't work, <laughs> Marty. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, Ron is immediately looking at this run. Yeah, if you make this really nice. If you could hit and stick it and leave a guard. You don't like it. Yeah, if it, if you hit that just off nose, it's funny. It might even leave a, like a little bit of a port, but that might be what you kind of need against a, a solid hitter like Pets is make something just like a little tempting, you know? Or if you hit it on nose and obviously it spills out, that's great too. But if you are ever just a little bit you know, to the right of that rock. It might end up pretty good. 
Runners first on the way. This looks a, like to be just going to turn out to be a peel and, re, and leave a guard. So that was certainly not the shot she was looking for. And a little bit of frustration comes out there. Yeah, just as mentioned, you know, if you're on the right side of the rock, there was, there was lots of good ways to make it. But if you're on the other side, there are a lot of ways to miss it. And that's sadly what we just saw there from Rana. Now for Tiranzoni, um, might be worth a little meeting here to try to figure out uh, what's the best plan of action. Yeah, I mean, you might want to uh, change gears here from, from uh, force to maybe steal. It looks like, I guess if I were to place one, I'd throw maybe just a biter uh, offset to uh, mess up the run. Yeah, that would be ideal for sure. Assuming it's somewhere along this path that, you know, close to that yellow rock. Because then if you do do that, you're right. It's you tempt Rana with a hit or something else. And ultimately, you've probably already succeeded in moving your opponent away from their end goal of a blank. Absolutely. This has a long, long way to curl. Now, maybe if you can tap back your shot rock and change the angles... It's not so bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that worked out all right. Yeah, now that obviously the double's there, but where does the shooter go? This looks like a slash up attempt for a blank, I, I would think. Yeah. This is the fifth end, so if Ron is able to get the blank, then she takes the hammer into the sixth and Obviously has that odd number of ends advantage. Key shot for sure. Looks to be about a inch or so off the nose. We'll do it. Here we go. Final stone of the fifth then. Needs to curl its way out there, and it is still going to go with enough weight. So the blank is in the books. Maybe not exactly the way you drew it up, but a blank it is. And we're going to stay at 5-4, moving into the key 6 in. We'll be back from Swift Current in just a moment. Light up your love for curling with our customizable neon LED lights from Letterlands. Choose your new Neon Mixed Doubles partner or make a statement with a Neon Curling Rock in your window. Also actual Letterlands. Use discount code WOW for 15% off. Only at Letterlands.com. We asked Saskatchewan what they know about 5G. Uh, more speed? More innovation? It's gonna make our lives a whole heck of a lot easier. This is what 5G looks like. Better, faster. Sounds like one more G. Sounds pretty good. I don't know what it means. All you really need to know is the future of 5G is here and will continue improving through investments in network technology. Swift Card is great because Everybody that we do business with, we know on some sort of personal level. What I love about Swift Current is the vibrant arts and culture community. I really like Swift Current. We are not a big city, but the size of the city is really good and we have everything. Swift Current is a great sports town, great teams and great fans. People say, you know, good morning, hi, how are you, even though we don't know each other. So with the impact of my business and income, 
Will this delay my retirement? I know you're worried, Marshall, but based on the original plan we came up with, you're only about six months behind. I thought it would be years, not months. You should feel good. Remember, you've got a plan. Thanks. With change comes questions. See the impact of your money decisions before you make them with RBC Wealth Plan. All right, now back with action in the six. We're going to have a good finish here. Let's see what else is going on. Let's take you around the rings with Marty. Thanks. The other quarterfinal of note uh, when it comes to this game, meeting in the semifinals here, uh, in just over just over an hour's time uh, between Unjin Kim and Unji Gim. Um, right now, Kim is up five to two. Um, traded ones there in the third and fourth. Gim does have hammer though in the fifth end, waiting for an update there. Again, the winner of this team will play either one of the Korean sides. And then on the other half of the bracket, we have the all Canadian matchup of Jolene Campbell versus Kayla Skrillick, Winnipeg and Calgary respectively. Campbell put up a three spot in the fourth end. They're up four to two. Skrillick with the hammer in fifth. And then the other game, Fujisawa versus Herleman. Uh, it's not over yet, but it is six to nothing for Fujisawa. Uh, I've stole one in the last three ends in a row. Herleman with the hammer in the fifth. And we just had a flash there for from Team Team Rana, leaving Terenzoni an opportunity to lay up a double guard against over there is in the uh, forefoot. We'd like to thank everyone who's joined us so so far this week here at Swift Current and engaging with us in the chat. We are we do pay attention to it and uh, try to respond when we can. So feel free to throw in any questions you have or uh, your shot suggestions. We love to hear it. It makes us sound smarter if. You can give us better ideas. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. No, I did see some comments there from Janie. It looks like also sort of noticing the troublesome ice. And yeah, it's um, weight, it seemed like for a bit. But, you know, I'm a bit of a broken record. But yeah, especially now into the sixth end with the flash there. It's like, I just want to know kind of what they saw in this in this game here on sheet five. Because, yeah, there's there's been a few very uncharacteristic misses um i know weight has been a concern uh in terms of throwing some hits but yeah very curious to sort of see you know unfortunately we're not you know at the luxury of actually being there in swift current saskatchewan today to, to see how that ice is reacting not off screen but actually this is another good example this rock seems like it's kind of running on them that's gonna make it in and so it's gonna push back the shot stone to the back forefoot leaving a hit and roll to lie too Terrence only asking for hack weight. A good chance for Tiranzoni to really load up the key here with red rocks. See Howard with the broom down right away. You don't really want this to over curl, but it's going to be the reverse. Pets will have to carve this. They make the takeout and they will lie too. So many times with those ice conditions, Marty has to do with your outside uh, atmosphere conditions because that does so much affect what happens inside the curling club. So right now in Swift Current, it's just below freezing, minus 4C, but a bit on the human side at 77%. So not too aware with how affected the dehumidification system is there swift current but i can see the uh shadows of some frost on the ice don't know if that's up to the pebble yet
I mean, that, 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 that's balmy for Saskatchewan this time of year. So I'm just kidding. It's, uh, it um, could be certainly a lot colder, but yeah, that's, uh, it's ice can be definitely affected in the middle of February out in Swift Current for sure. Well, speaking of balmy, it's 59 degrees here outside of Philadelphia. Yeah. <laughs> That's Fahrenheit. <laughs> yeah, 59 Celsius would be a uh, whole Pretty bad. Celsius. Yeah. It's uh, that, that would it's probably, 10 that, degrees here in Toronto, too. So it's I think it's yeah. very similar. I think very similar. Yeah, yes, that would 59, uh, 59 Celsius would definitely uh, quell the idea that global warming is a uh, myth. <laughs> <laughs> Hard, really hard to make curling ice too. Big scrub here from Howard. You see this one's really breaking on them. If anything, oh. you might get a wick. And and a bit of an unfortunate rub to now leave the Rana Rock underneath the double staggered guards. So how do you take advantage of that? And I think she likes to set up well enough just to come right on in and lay another one. If you manage to overcurl that, if you manage to just go on the other side of that red rock, on the low side, or sorry, yellow rock rather, just put one right in there, and you can tell they're maybe cheating a little bit with the line. Just want to come right in there and carve it the second it get past it gets past that first guard. Yeah, see, so cheat just a little bit. Like let's let's see if we can put one right in there. That could be really nice for Rana. As yep. you can see, they have the hammer. Yeah, there you go. And you saw, you saw Rana move that broom in just a few skoshes. Big shot and a big opportunity for Team Rana. Looks like it's down. They are on it coast to coast right now, trying to drag it. Got to go the whole way. Hard on the brush. Hard on the brush. And you're going to make it just into the full 12. Yeah, it's a shame that was that light. I mean, it's still, you know, it's obviously an awkward stagger, but. Tieran's only with a chance to, I guess, as Dave, just to maybe open this up for pets a little bit. Like they're, I think they're kind of looking at that red-yellow. The draw looks a little gross, to use a league term, <laughs> coming in that way. Um, but it's where you sure. need a, it's where you need a left hander, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just one, hopefully, one just drops from the sky, because yeah, it, it's tough. I, that's good too yeah that's you know there's not much of it you can see in the hack but well yeah because if you do that that gives you something to use a little bit later on i think if you pick you that, this? If you, yeah i think if you pick that yellow you're gonna roll a uh roll a lot more than you like though So here, here you go, chat. Now here's your time to call the shot. You make the call. <laughs> we got time. We got time. Uh, send your send your suggestions in. We sure to forward them to Team Tier and Zoni. I'm sure they'll read them all. No, yes, uh, uh, postage due. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the play off the red and then off the yellow. It, as much as that yellow rock doesn't seem like it's too much of a danger. If you do make this right, I guess it kind of, you know, alleviates some pressure and does get rid of the staggers to a certain extent. It, it makes sense. Yeah, I like to call here. So here we go. Tiran zoning with hers. They called it a hair down. Holding the line. Got to hit and remove the owl of stone through, leaving their own 
line second and third. Angles are still very much favorable for uh, Team Rana. Yeah, maybe they didn't expect that uh, that to come over and just get just on just on that right side of the center line is not really what you're looking for. We do have a final to report. Fujisawa won six to one for Corey Herleman. The other Swiss team here in the quarterfinals. So they advanced to the semifinals. And six to one in five ends. Going back to just throwing another one in, and I can't say I argue with it too much. I don't see a really comfortable way for Tiranzoni to counter another stone in the forefoot right now. The intern draw path is pretty treacherous. Final stone for Duvall in this end here. You're right, but if you make this good, it's out there. Now they think it has all the weight, just trying to get let it dig to touch. Now carve it over. Walk it over. Get it all the way up. All the way up to the nose. Hmm. That might have left a, enough of a gap to uh, rearrange the deck chairs here. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, the rocks seem to be really holding up. You know, like it's, it's again, always you're on stream. It's hard to get a, a, a real good feel for it. But, it, you know, the, the rocks do seem to be sort of coming in at quite a bit of a speed. But they do really park themselves once they get into the house. So that was that was pretty good. They, obviously they started to carve it when it was out there, but yeah, that's a that's a decent spot. But yeah, like you said, I it's you think that's there to maybe try to make it obviously one go, but maybe two? I don't know. I don't think it's possible. But if you just play something soft, you could just I guess the idea is just get to as much of that yellow rock as you can. And if you leave yours it. yeah, if you leave yours in front of it then yeah, that ice would certainly dictate a softer hit for sure, and that's what we got. So this looks like it's that. coming at yeah, coming at like bumper weight. Yeah, I think you carve that all day. Carving it all day. And most of the morning to remove the one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good spot. Could be better, but Brana with with one shot here to to really feels like just to sort of set pets up for something tough. What are you seeing here, Dave? It depends how greedy you want to be, I guess. You could play off the red. It looks like they're going to try to do. Well, you see that that double is that that's set up for pets right now. If if it's left there. So you have to adjust it. I'm wondering that if you ever just come down and tap back your own shot stone a little bit, if you don't mess up that angle and make that less appealing. Yeah. That's hmm. what I, that that's where, that's where my mind went to, but um, then again, they are ranked number seven in the world, and I am ranked someplace in Appendix C. <laughs> Just got to keep turning the page. We'll find you. Yeah, this is, yeah, like a inside-out hit. A little on the softer side. And now they're both here, on here. it. Just see how much this will curl. Yeah, trying to keep it straight. It's going to hit. Hmm, that's an interesting outcome. I don't know if that's really uh, what you were hoping for. I, I'm wondering if they maybe wanted to hit it a little 
hit a little bit more of the rock and almost just come try to come over top of the rock and almost become frozen to it because yeah that if they made that shot there was a chance for three now you know i don't think that's realistic but yeah yeah it, that's it, tough yes, with that weight i think it was just like they just wanted to kind of just roll in behind and then be in a pretty good spot but this obviously leaves pets a chance to hit and then i'm not sure potentially even i don't know if they want to roll over and get a little bit of cover maybe just half like half buried on the yellow ron has to throw an inside out hit a couple ways you can make this for sure make it difficult for rana's last yeah it looks like the initial indication was to roll to roll out as opposed to in we'll see what the final result ends up coming final stone for pets here in the sixth end looks to be a little bit up weight carve it over get just a hair of a roll it looks like it leaves a pretty straightforward hit for two yeah you, you you might be right david maybe just a little a little firmer than they thought at considering the line call too but um contact was the most important thing so yeah chance are hit for two and then rana's up one going into the seventh one hammer each pretty good spot to be they certainly would have take, taken this uh, after they gave up the three spot in the second end. That's for sure. And once again, you know, most importantly, scoring in that sixth end with with the odd hammers. Extremely important. On it right out of hand. Looks to be no problem. It is made, and there's the deuce. Score two for Rana. And they will take a one stone lead moving into the seventh. We're going to have an exciting end game coming up for you here at the Western Challenge, brought to you by Nutrien Ag Solutions, Swift Current, Saskatchewan. We'll be back. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Well, what do y'all think? Too blue? Not blue enough? Try this. Makes your eyes pop. This could be our best yield yet. And didn't we get this seed at a great financing rate? Yeah, we did. Iced tea? Great idea. Let's talk more about next year. I got some thoughts. And I've got some numbers. Nutrient Financial. Financing that's in the field with you. SASTEL Be Kind Online wants to stop cyberbullying. Want in on the action? We award up to $1,000 for youth initiatives that help spread kindness and prevent bullying. What great idea do you have to help stop bullying? SASTEL can help. Go to BeKindOnline.com and apply for a grant today. Together, we can make a difference. after Labor Day. So we're back here in the seventh end. It's Swift Current Saskatchewan, the Nutrient Ag Solutions Western Challenge. We got ourselves a good one, Marty. Yeah, we absolutely do. Going into the seventh end here, Swedish team up six to five. Tieran Zoni hasn't lost a game yet this entire competition and have been red hot this year. But so has T. 
Team Rana. So we'll see how this one will shape up. Um, we've had a very exciting game, especially in comparison to the other sheets. You know, a lot of one spots being thrown around, but this game has been filled with high scoring, save for obviously the blank. But, you know, Rana had to make a really nice shot to, to, to make that blank happen. So, yeah, it's been a very entertaining game and thinking that the seventh and eighth will give us something very similar. And we are both happy teams, that both teams will feel like they, sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll just finish. Sorry. Both teams will feel like they have an opportunity to win this game. Oh yeah, you absolutely. Know, he, absolutely. You have to think that. And we're happy to have all you guys uh, tuned in here from Canada or wherever you are. We saw even South Africa checking in, running in for Switzerland. We know we have some family members of the Swedish team watching. So greetings and salutations on this fine Sunday morning. Already a busy end here. We have a center guard up and two in the house. And now we're on him with the fifth rock. What a time to be watching winter sports in South Africa. This is great. Dead of heat. Sounds awesome. We have China checking in. Oh, incredible. Solid rock for, for Tiernzoni where this one is, obviously. Real 10 out of 10 shot to get at that frozen on. Yeah, I just saw that from Susanna cheering from China for Sweden. Rooting from, from Canada for Sweden. Anybody rooting for Switzerland, don't uh, let us know, please. I know our uh, viewer from South Africa was rooting for Switzerland. And it looks like we're going to try to clean up the middle here with some heat. Yeah, it should be favorable for red you don't want to be uh yeah it, it, it would almost be tolerance to be on that outside to be on the low side but it, just a little too low that was just that was definitely too low and now it's going to go right back so ultimately if you're Tarenzoni here if you had everything your way you you would want to blank i would assume yeah yeah, likely. Um, it depends if it depends if they can get to like, I think, you know, blank would be great. But now sort of seeing where that red rock is, you know, it's a bit of stick or twist. I feel like maybe now you you're maybe if you want to play with a bit of fire, you could try to keep that around. But it's not exactly where they wanted that guard. And so many times it is the, you know, the first four rocks and that setup that determines what the outcome of the end is. Uh, coach at our club and the father of uh, Saren Taylor Anderson, Wayne is a member of member of my club, and he, he often professes that he can look at an end after the after second rocks and tell you who's going to score and how many. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> or he definitely oh. said, the term he likes to use is, uh, well, I would say that they're a plus right now. Oh, a plus. So, okay, fair enough. Yeah, that, see, the, that shot had to be really good. And, you know, if you were able to hit that, and the key was not to unlock that, that red rock, it was almost to keep it corner frozen, because now, you know, it's it's exposed, and it seems like now Rana's maybe in a plus to use to use that term because if they're just able to remove that red rock, then they're one and two, maybe flat. You know, it, it's tough. I think I think that Tiernzoni needed to go for that shot, uh, needed to call that shot to roll wide. But yeah, again, it was just the the wrong the wrong circumstance. Because again, you just, you know, for maybe folks that aren't necessarily too familiar with the sport, but like having that one rock that was just glued to that yellow one, 
you know, it wasn't going to go anywhere until somebody touched it. And you, if you were at Tiranzoni, you wanted to wait a little bit before you, you know, fully removed it. Now, this rock is hanging out there, yeah, really trying to carve it over. And they're going to just kiss the top one. How far does it slide by? They choose to sweep it back. And it lies shot stone for the moment, but behind the T-line. And those uh, rocks, once they're back there, they never get any closer. No. Yeah, that's interesting. It's very interesting. This is the part where you say what makes it interesting, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm thinking now. So I mean, okay. So if you're if you're Tiranzoni, I'm using all my brain power to uh, to answer that question. There's a couple of different ways to to do this. They're looking at that. Yeah. Because if you make this right, I guess that redstone that you promote gets into potential shot stone territory and oh, then you're the, really the, the the second you put a rock you know a red rock it shot stone you know above that yellow rock is you're really going to take away its influence the, the sorry the yellow rock there at the edge of the four all right so here comes Terranzoni with her first here in the seventh coming with a control weight and trying to hold it there Trying to hold it. It looks like it's going to overcurl just a touch and oh. slide by everything. They just waited too long on that. But that was kind of the shot that I was like looking at too, where it, it, that's really disappointing that there's two pretty big misses here on these hits. And you could see the front end there was really, yeah, the front end there was really trying to communicate. Uh, that it was down weight, almost, you know, begging to sweep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> so now right, a chance for Rana to sit three. I was going to say this shot is a little more straightforward in terms of what they need to do than the first one, or than the than the than the last one rather from Tiranzoni. Just try to hit this and roll behind. Getting stuck on this line again though. Uh, you don't want to flash this. Uh, you don't want to jam it either. Oh! And there it goes. This might be one of the most frustrating set of shots, a uh, sequence of shots uh, that you'll see at this level. That's, uh, yeah, that's a little disappointing. Um, you know, it doesn't necessarily bring that that red rock at the top 12 into potential scoring area, but yeah, that that location of that red rock on the edge of the four is is awfully nice right now for Tiranzoni. And Ricky put that quite well. Ouch, indeed. So now drawing right to the top four for Tiranzoni. And that's going to put them back in the driver's seat. I mean, this end has slipped three times already. Yeah. Yeah, it really has. From plus to minus to plus to minus. Who had the first plus sure again? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I don't think I'm even using uh, that person's terminology correctly. Good snowplow here to try to keep the weight because it's definitely down. Oh, that has to go for days. Now, Marty, for for my uh, information, uh, what sheet what sheet did we lose with the final? What Maybe sheet did we lose. Yeah, but yeah. What 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 sheet came off the ice? Maybe we're getting a little bit of uh, related slowdown. Oh, true. Good point. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that. I'm gonna take a look. It could be slightly. Yeah, you're right. It could be a little bit slower with uh, Fujisawa and Herleman off. Um, and actually, it's funny you say that. We did just just now have another sheet wrap up. Uh, Jolene Campbell and Kayla Skurlick. Uh, Campbell goes through to the semifinal. So yeah, now there's two sheets off. So yeah, most likely, most likely that's the case. Sorry. 
And that hit and stick is made, and now it's Rana sitting the three. Yeah, what a whirlwind of an end. Chance to go to the semifinals here. And this end has, yeah, this end has flipped on its head three or four times, and this game has too. Alina Pets here with a chance to sink one in. Sorry. Yeah, de right. yeah, definitely a combination of shot making and and then just a couple of uh, half shots and full misses. And now we're going to see Pets try to suck one underneath there. I mean, now, I, how I, deep I, do you want to be, Marty? Uh, I mean, as long as you're covered it's it's funny when you know when there's like when there's so many errors with the hits that we've seen you know i think as much as you can curl it from here it feels like yeah see that's a good spot because now it's a draw likely see if we can get the overhead to see yeah it's likely a draw and there's a really good chance for a skip's deuce. Or hit off your own and try to come under. Could be really aggressive and run the wrong rock in. Yeah. Yeah, the only issue with that is if you ever... Oh, it could really stink, If you ever miss yes. it on the high side, then it just kind of spills down. It might even remove your yellow, and then they have a shot for three. Yeah, maybe you just... I don't know. Maybe you just kind of in off your own and... But I guess if you do that, then if you miss it, makes the I don't I don't think it brings three scoring in, radius. No. Yeah, it will just it would just make the scoring area the draw that that pets would have to make. It would just make it a little bit bigger. Where I feel like if you just draw in, then you know she'll still have to beat something. You know, where if you just hit and roll and you miss it, then now she just has to draw to the white rather than the gray. Okay, so it looks like the calls for Rana just to make a better one here. With the final stone here in the seventh for Team Sweden. A good clean on that rock first. Yeah. Really crucial shot here. Make it as hard as you can. You might still get the force. Just cleaning it for now. Hanging out there. Now it turns in. Can you carve it under? You want to get it past the first one. Now, how deep can he get it? Just get up to the shot stone. Yeah, that's a beauty because you see it's almost edged edge. That is a high guard, almost edged edge. Is there a shot to remove both? Like, is there a shot to go like that to get rid of them? Because, yeah, as, as uh, Pets already sort of alluded to, just if you... There's just a good chance you just jam on the red, right? You just like the yellow just hits the red and then you give up one and then the game's over, right? Right. And maybe they're looking at, yeah, that hit maybe. Oh, man. Terrence only just taking a look around just to make sure he didn't miss anything. It's a big shot. Rana really put them in the, really put them under pressure for this final one. So kudos to her and her team. A oh, lot yeah. of misses in this end, but a really solid rebound. Absolutely. So now, Elena Pets, the last stone thrower for Team Tirazzoni, with the final stone in end number seven. On it to hold it. It's going to hit and, oh, it's going to be a steal of one. Let's 
So it's going to be seven to six. Rana with a two point lead. Team Darren Zoni with the hammer coming up to the eighth and final end. Hang on to your seats. We'll be back in a second. Here from Swift Current. I've been farming on my own right for 40 years now, I think. It's a very uh, wholesome enterprise. You have very, very busy periods when you have to go hard. So many of our windows are so tight that uh, you, you just can't afford to miss a couple days of seeding. When a producer places their trust in us, that when it's time for them to be able to make their living, we're gonna be there. That's a tremendous responsibility that is not a one day a year thing, right? In order to actually deliver on that, you have to build your processes and you have to build your team and you have to have a, a mindset of operational excellence because there's a lot of things that can go wrong and it's our job to make sure that they don't go wrong or if they do go wrong, that we can fix it before it affects our customers. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Well, what do y'all think? Too blue? Not blue enough? Try this. Makes your eyes pop. This could be our best yield yet. And didn't we get this seed at a great financing rate? Yeah, we did. Iced tea? Great idea. Let's talk more about next year. I got some thoughts. And I've got some numbers. Nutrient Financial. Financing that's in the field with you. SASTEL Be Kind Online wants to stop cyberbullying. Want in on the action? We award up to $1,000 for youth initiatives that help spread kindness and prevent bullying. What great idea do you have to help stop bullying? SASTEL can help. Go to BeKindOnline.com and apply for a grant today. Together, we can make a difference. So we're back here in the final end of the quarterfinals of the Western Challenge brought to you by Nutrient Ag, Ag Solutions. I'm Dave Schmel. I'm here with Marty Thompson. Glad to have you with us. 25 teams are competing for a purse of $50,000. And Tiranzoni is going to need two to tie it here. Now let's take a look back at that last shot, lean, lean to that steal. Yeah, it's tough, eh? That you know, like it just kind of was saying before, that, that jam was always going to be there. But you, I don't know. I guess you kind of had to go for it, try to find that that way to get two. Um, yeah, obviously you get one and it's tied, and you're still 
you give up the hammer advantage, but this is going to be very difficult to get to if you're tier in zoni, especially with how it's set up. But yeah, no, I know at the end of the day, you know, you could, uh, tier in zoni had a difficult shot, but that's because Rana made like a, you know, really nice draw. I don't think if you could go back, you can scrub back to that, that shot that she had. I don't think you'd want to put it in a, any other place than that. So fantastic rebound as mentioned. And uh, the winner of this game looks like they'll be taking on Unjung Kim. She just completed and just won her quarterfinal seven to three for Unji Kim. That was seven to three after seven ends. So winner of this moves on to the semis to take on Kim. So we have two stones for Rana populating the forefoot to get things started. A single corner guard for Tiranzoni. Now, these none of these guards are Rana's friend. You want things as open as possible, as quickly as possible, I would think. Huge shout out to the many folks tuning in. I know we had a, a little bump here, I think, when all the other uh, sheets finished up. It's been a good one, as you can see from the scoreboard. More than a few misses, but they've been pretty evenly uh, distributed, it feels like, between the two teams. A couple three spots made it very interesting. And now, Tiranzoni, as you can see, they need to make some... Uh, some need magic. to make some, yeah, definitely had to make some magic happen. He took the words right out of my mouth. This staggered set is 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 pretty friendly. Just comes down to whether or not, yeah, you can get a jam or two, and then, you know, everything's pretty spaced out. So, you know, if you did get a jam and a red rock rolls out towards the eight or twelve foot, then, you know, you suddenly have a split house scenario. Rana will have to, will prefer to hit. So we have some draws coming on in, trying to lay on up in front of those rocks. Use them to your advantage. Those rocks are going to be your friend later on. Got to get past the top one first. Oh, just a little bit of a wick. That's unfortunate. Yeah, and for those tuning in as well, that ice has been a little difficult for, for these teams in terms of, you know, there's been quite a number of misses specifically on hits, but also on draws like that. It's been, uh, it's made the game very fun to watch and definitely frustrating for, for both these teams. Yes, uh, adaptation has been key. Who can uh, adapt to the conditions? We've had adjacent sheets shake, and that always changes the ice a little bit. So now a hit on the way from Team Rana. A hit and roll and guard their two shot stones. So That's a good, way. That's a good shot. Absolutely. You'd see that they just kind of called that it was down weight, but that was, you know, that's the way you wanted to. If you're going to be down weight, then, you know, let you control where that shooter is and, you know, we were just talking about Tiranzoni and the Redstones being able to sort of glue themselves to yellow. It's, okay, now you have to come around. This is well, Tiranzoni's first, or do this, right? Yeah. It, it, and it's uh, it's not friendly. Looks like, yeah, it looks like they're trying to grow the tree a little bit. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, it is one. the holiday season. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I guess you, you just, yeah, try to go red, yellow, yellow. Because now you have those two yellow stones are are the shot stones because they really they really got to get moving now. And as we mentioned the holidays, want to wish a happy Hanukkah to all those who are celebrating. Huge shout out to a uh, huge influx of Team Rana fans. Checking in. You, you, you've tuned into a good time for this team. Tiranzoni with a chance to 
try to push some redstones around. Looks a little light. Gonna have to hustle to get past that. Top one again. Ooh. And it looks like the ice is just coming down just a little bit. Yeah, you mentioned it there. Just a little late to adjust to how some of these conditions are likely changing. We don't know for sure, but are likely changing because, yeah, you, you rightly called it out where there was a couple really slow draws and, and things that came up short. That's another one that came up, you know, pretty significantly short because I think they, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they maybe even wanted to just touch that red a little bit, right? Like, or get yes. corner frozen. So that was, yeah, that was not enough weight. So, yeah, this is a this is yeah. an interesting setup here for Team Rana to hit the red and roll a little bit towards the center line. Is that right? That seems to be the call. This is this could be tricky. On it right out of her hand. This is curling quite a bit. Yeah, thin's maybe not great. Now we're on the top Let's one see. and we're gonna roll towards the center and clip their own. And roll up to sit fourth. So I think Tiranzoni is going to have to just wrap around everything at this point and play to a really small scoring zone. What do you think, Marty? Yeah, it's got. I think it's, it's got to be a skips deuce because if you did this, if you played off of the red, then... You know, you obviously you can see a lot of it. It would be hard for you to remove both yellow rocks and not be in a position just to be doubled out of the game, right? Like, because the the those yellows will jam, and if you have like if you have that yellow jam, like that that first one of the top yellow, the top four, if it just gets pushed back and jams, then how do you get it out? You're going to have a couple of red stones on the on the right side of the sheet, as you can sort of see on on the the top angle here on the right hand side of your screen. They're going to roll off to the right, and then what? Like you know, Rana will have a hit and roll underneath, or a double, and it's going to be really difficult. But now maybe I'm you have to maybe you have to play with that a little bit because you know, I don't know, I the drawing behind is extremely difficult this you know and this has been a game of misses obviously this would at least put the game a little bit more in rana's hands and see if she you know you could get a miss out of her does that make sense it certainly does marty but I, you know i i think there comes a point in the game especially now when we're at crunch time where i think you just have to make this shot rather than hope for your opponent yeah, yeah. give it the best but give it the best go you can because it doesn't matter whether, uh, you know, you're uh, clunked in the head by a ball peen hammer or a sledgehammer. You're, it still hurts. Absolutely, it does. Speaking of which, maybe like a, a little bit of weight to this. This looks to be, oh, I'd say a heavy board. Uh, it's just out there. Trying to it's work it over. There. It's going to clip the top one. You know, that's not the worst result. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's not. But that being said, they do have a couple options. I mean, you I could think also you... just draw to the button. If you could draw to the button... Oh, sure. Then, you know, it's it's difficult. But this also is this yeah. also is there, too. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, yeah, there's plenty to be said for the just the old fashioned running amount of rocks strategy at this point. Yeah. And if this yeah, red one goes, hit, the game's over. Yeah. So, yeah, if this if this red one goes away. They they can't score. They can score two. There's only two left. This is a pretty crucial shot, though. Obviously, if you score, if you if you get rid of the red, you make it. But if you don't, if you're ever 
missing on either side. Well, we'll find out shortly. First stone for Rana. This looks like it's got to be held. It's going to be all over the top one. And there is another miss. So a miss, but it opens it up. So I don't think it it's the worst worst outcome either because now you can see things and it's a little bit less buried. So so now you need to find a way if you're a Terenzoni to make sure that there's no double available here. I should clarify when I said the game would be over if the Red Rock, I was being a little uh, hyperbolic. Obviously, that there's there's still the two red ones. So, yeah. I, yeah, that's good. So being good, you're meaning uh, just tapping up and leaving your own, leaving the shooter high in the eight foot and rolling and rolling the uh, the promoter rock over to the side of the eight. Yeah, I guess so. Because then at that point, if you, yeah, I don't know. If, if you make that right, it would be a hard double. You know, if, if like best case scenario, obviously they're, they're a little flat, but yeah, I, maybe that's it. Because if you also make that, it's hard for yellow to hit that yellow rock and get hidden anywhere, right? Like if Rana has her last, it's like, you know, likely the red is just going to be edge to edge with that yellow rock and then you're just have to going to be hit and be exposed and then yeah I, I i guess this is it now with like the kind of weight that they're throwing the key thing is where the shooter goes you're going to want to see where obviously want to you want to end up just on just off a of center or just on center and get like a nice roll out to the outside i guess right because you need to transfer a, oh about 12 feet of weight onto the shooter and the rock you're going to hit so it's got to be at least a solid board this needs to come over really close now see what kind of result we get we make the first contact how much of a roll do you roll far enough got to go as far as you can far as you can okay so you're sitting one and three did we leave the double there? Potentially, yeah. It's pretty flat, but yeah, if you just make that, as Rana is indicating with a bit of weight, just that nice consistent rollover to the red. Yeah, that would be very tough for Tiranzoni and Alina Pets on her last. Yeah, you really needed a little bit more forward and on on the uh promote it rock and a little bit more side on the uh, on the roll off there it was a very noble effort it was definitely a uh, a uh, high degree of difficulty shot so Isabella Rana Potentially for the win. With her last stone in the eighth end. On it right off her hand. Going to get the one. And not make the double, but I think that I don't know how you're going to make that work. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we might be... Uh... <laughs> We might be talking about it for a little bit, but we might have some handshakes because this is pretty difficult. Yeah. And there and there it is. So it is a win for Team Rana, and they will advance to the semifinals over Team Tiranzoni, handing them their first loss of the tournament after a great run from by them and an equally great run by Team Rana. Any final thoughts about the game, Marty? Really exciting. Uh, I'm glad we got to call us one, and thanks, everybody, for tuning in. This has been awesome. Uh, congratulations, uh, the Team Rana, for moving on. So for Marty Thompson and all of us here at Curling Stadium from Swift Currents, Saskatchewan, please tune in for our next draws. Have a great day.
we feed the world with nutrient and a large portion of what our job is is to get fertilizer out with the carriers so they can get directed to the farms or to the different retail locations. We know that if we don't have the answer to something we're not afraid to reach out because we have support from everyone. We've got a really good team behind us. SASTEL Be Kind Online wants to stop cyberbullying. Want in on the action? We award up to $1,000 for youth initiatives that help spread kindness and prevent bullying. What great idea do you have to help stop bullying? SASTEL can help. Go to BeKindOnline.com and apply for a grant today. Together, we can make a difference. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.